Hello guys, today uh, we're going to be doing a um, new kind of thing on my channel. We're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin Create Your Own Menus. Now, as you can see, I have it loaded um, right down here, uh, Create Your Own Menus. I'm going to show you how to create your, your very own menu so you can use it on your server. First off, what you're going to do is create your first menu. So, you're going to do Menu, Create, see what pops up. So menu, create, your ID, I usually use MM for main menu, rows, I usually use 5, and I'm pretty sure 5 is the maximum number. Um, and the title, this is, can be color coded with hex, so, and E, main menu. So there you can see, main menu has been creative. So let's get a little sneak peek of this, menu, open, MM. So this is what we have so far. Nothing really. So let's get some decoration in there. Get some black class planes. Menu, edit, MM. And put this as a border around. Now if you want to edit your menu, you do menu, edit, and then the ID of your menu. It doesn't work as in, it does not work as that. It'll think that menu is a player and main is a menu. Um, so the next step step you want to probably do is um, create the item you're going to want to use for your menu. So I usually use a chest. So instead of getting a regular old boring chest, I usually do. I usually get myself a little chest. I chest one name and six main underscore menu lore and E and this is basically what you can describe your menu as. I usually do the menu for all your needs. And as you can see right here I get this little main menu thing with a description at the bottom. Now here's the tricky part that a lot of people get messed up on. It's scripting it. Now to script it you do slash menu script add menu open at p and then the menu id so menu id goes where this little id thing is right here so i want it to open my main menu so as you can see it has a little purple thing open up under the description and to get rid of that you do menu script um, hide and then it's not there anymore but when you right click this it opens up the main menu now a lot of people like to put these in kits and to do that all you have to do is create kit and kit name well, well um, I, I can just create a kit name perfect <laughs> um, okay so now to edit our main menu and have sub menus so let's say I wanted to get my skull and do and have it be like another staff menu inside of the menu. To do that, you need to do menu script add. Well, first off, let's create a new menu. Menu script, not script. Menu create ID. Let's do S for staff, rows five, and title and E staff. Now menu script add slash menu open at the staff now a lot of people know that you can't do I skull etc um, you actually have to do another create your own menus command it's menu script title and then your title so I want it to be and six and L staff we're back and so. I fixed it and now it's the same command it just didn't load and I now have the command loaded up again so it opens a staff menu uh, let's hide this um, command down here so menu script ripped hide so now it's hidden and now we can edit the main menu put this guy right here and when we open it we can click on staff and it opens up the staff menu. Now, let's decorate our staff menu. Menu, edit, staff. 
So let's add black stained glass around the edges. Let's get my skull again. But this time, we're going to name it something different. So we're going to do menu, script, title, and C and L owner. And E Jack Jack 33. And there's another score. I don't really care. Menu, edit, S. So now I'm the owner in this little staff area. And I really just like to put a main menu thing here so they can go back to the main menu without, you know, having to close out. It literally looks like an optical illusion. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's my tutorial for today, and thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. See you guys.